you're good to go. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. In today's video, we're going to be going over the top five tips that uh, we get asked, especially from a beginner standpoint. Um, so let's dive right in. But before that, roll the intro. Question number one would be gym intimidation. Now gym intimidation I know is a real thing. Like like legit, it's a real thing. Um, I've experienced it before. Yeah. When I first started going. I don't remember, to be honest. But um, for sure, it, it's a real thing. Um, I think it happens more to females than males, simply because it is, I would say, more of a male dominant sport. Not that you don't see females because you absolutely do more more now than ever. But I would say that um, gym intimidation is a real thing. So what I mean by a real thing is mentally, like people feel like, you know, people at the gym um, that are there are staring at you. And to be honest, I, you know, like I said, I've been going to the gym for nine years. I don't stare at people. Like, Sai and I go to the gym, we put our headset on, we talk to each other a couple times here and there, but other than that, we're in the zone. We're, we're not looking around, um, judging people um, because of their form or how they look or, or anything. You know, we're focused there to, to, to better ourselves and our progress, and that's it. Like, there's, there's nothing that we uh, go for at the, to, that we go to the gym for other than that, other than that, let me re repeat that. You know, for most people, um, I understand that um, you you do feel that you do feel that intimidation, or you do feel that fear that you know people are going to be looking at you and staring at you and thinking, "Oh, look at that beginner! They don't know what they're doing." But at the end of the day, um, I've I've spoken to other bodybuilders, and I know myself, and and so I you know we don't we don't ever look at people and and judge them or look at them uh, less than. Uh, just because you this it's your first day versus it's your 10 years in you know there's no none of that to be honest so uh, gym intimidation I know is a real fear of people that have it but uh, to be honest from you know from, from a bodybuilder standpoint it's not, what we, it's not what we go to the gym for no so. like when you first start going I just feel like it's all you know it's just like mental all thing, part right? of like a mental thing like you go there and yeah. you know, it's just because you see people and the progress they have and you are just first starting out, but you just have to remember that everyone, you know, started somewhere. You know, everyone had their first day at the gym. Right. Everyone had their first day lifting weights. Right. So that huge, massive guy or that girl you look up to or whoever, they weren't like that, you know, all the time. That's, they, they started, they had their first day. They had their day one at some point. The second one, as a beginner, what supplements should I start taking? I feel like when you're first starting out, you really should get into the habit of learning how to diet instead of relying on supplementation. For sure. Um, I for for me, I like to get all my you know all my protein intake, all my gains through eating food, and really you know the main supplement that I take is protein powder. Yeah. Yeah, and and as a beginner. Supplements should be like the last thing. If you had a list from one to 10, this being number one, this being number 10, supplements should be right here. You need to learn how to uh, work out proper. Your form uh, needs to be uh, proper. Uh, the right amount of sets, reps, uh, posture, um, and then get, also get your diet on point depending on what your goal is. And then think about supplementation. Supplementation shouldn't be priority on your list. I know, uh, Companies like to just throw them at you and, and, and just advertise their supplementation no matter where you're at, whether you're at the store, whether you're on, on Facebook or Instagram, you know, you're gonna see it everywhere. You are. But uh, try not to feed into it, uh, especially as a beginner. This, this video is, is, is more for beginners. Um, try not to let uh, supplementation come into the picture until you have your foundation, basically. Yeah. Um, it's good. To get into the habit of you know meal prepping and cooking and 
relying on food rather than trying to find something like a supplement to buy and you know take right i mean even now um i only take the only supplements that i ever take is protein powder creatine creatine has no negative side effects neither does protein um and then so every once in a while we'll take um pre-workout yeah pre-workout um, we haven't we don't have like pre-workout right now like we haven't bought some in a few wow. months and we just you know, we've been fine you know there are some days that we do need it so we'll, we'll get like a scoop we won't buy like a bottle we'll just buy like a scoop from the store uh some of the gyms locally here have like uh, nutrition shops where they have like pre-workout you can buy a scoop um but other than that we don't take anything other than that really that's like that's all the all the um supplements that we that we take uh year round number three how many times a week should a beginner train like how many days a week should a beginner go to the gym very beginner very beginner, very beginner. Like, just starting i'd say three times a week and work your way up um your split um, will obviously depend on many times but I would say three times a week and then a month in work your, work your way to say four days a week and then uh, five days a week and uh, after I would say two months so after a month uh, so on the third month maybe go to five days and then after that uh, six days a week but uh, definitely you, you uh, when I started, I would go every day to be honest, I, and I went every day for years. It's not a bad thing. Your body can def definitely get used to it. Uh, mine did. I used to go every day, and there's no days off for me. I felt like I saw more progress when I had at least one rest day a week uh, because it does give your body time to rest. You know, to and, and that's when you actually build muscle is when you're resting. Now, when you're at the gym, at the gym you're just breaking down muscle. So it can recuperate and be, you know become bigger. So don't get don't don't think you're at the gym building muscle. You know you're at the gym tearing muscle. Um, and then in the resting process is where um, you actually build that muscle back up and it becomes bigger and stronger. So um, rest is, is is just as important, if not more, than you know going to the gym. Question number four is what workout split should a beginner do when first going to the gym? Um, because it's, you know, they're only going, say you're only going to try to go three times a week, but you right. still want to grow your muscles proportionally. Like you want to work everything out in those three days. Right. Um, what would, what do you think would be a good workout split? Day one would be chest and back. Day two would be arms and then day three would be legs. I'd say a pretty good split to start off. Um, uh, working out, you know, for three days. Question number five is how many exercises exercises should you be doing per uh, muscle? As a as a beginner, I feel like when I was first going, I at least try to do like two workouts per muscle group. Um, That's a good number. You know, that way, you know, I'm still I'm not just you know only doing one. I'm like getting two two uh I'm getting two workouts per muscle group and that way you know the next day when I wake up I'm not totally destroyed and I can't even I can't even move but you know I would I still was sore, sore. Yeah. I still was sore and I still felt like I was getting uh, a good workout with that yeah and then also the reps uh, and sets two to three sets per muscle group and then anywhere from six to ten uh, reps per that per 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 set per, per set yeah yeah <laughs> I was like wait I just yeah. got to confuse that for a second but yeah that way you're not overloading your yourself uh, physically or mentally uh, because you don't want to go super hard at the gym and then burn yourself out early and because that's what a lot of people do is like they'll 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 feel that, that instant switch where they want to start going to the gym and live a healthier lifestyle. And then they'll hit, they'll just hit a wall. Just, <laughs> just because you're just going way too hard. You're, 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 you're probably your diet's not on point and you're just almost eating nothing and you're going to the gym and exhausting yourself on top of, let's say you have a pretty physical manual labor job or, or maybe you don't. Um, either way, you're still 
being, you know, you're still going to feel fatigued and exhausted and, and, you know, you can't sustain that for a long time. Uh, I know I can't for sure. Um, so, yeah, it's, steady, a ba- it's a balance. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, for sure. It's a, it's a, it's a well-balanced thing yeah, and it's, it's not going to be overnight. Yeah. It's good to get a foundation and then, you know, once you actually get into the groove of dieting and getting your workouts on point, then you can do maybe more workout per muscle group, more sets, more reps, amp it up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Because it's not, I mean, you, you, you'll definitely get, if you're consistent, you'll definitely get to the point where you're going to be uh, doing four or five sets per muscle group, 12 reps per uh, set. I mean, you're gonna be doing, I don't know, five, four or five different exercises per muscle group which is what we're what we do but you know this 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 video is not for a seasoned person who's been going to the gym for a long time so you know this is for beginners uh so i think that's a good foundation a good starting point and to not let you get burnt or exhausted early and being able to to maintain that and uh stay committed to your goals basically (laughs) well i mean if you have additional questions that we may have not covered in the video, go ahead and comment down below. I mean, if you have, you know, maybe you have questions about what exercises to be doing for muscle groups, I mean, comment down below and we'll get back to you for sure. Well guys, that's us signing off. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have any additional questions, like you said, you're more than welcome to write them down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, the red button, Yeah. click it. And Do it, it turns, right now, click it. And it turns like gray or something, I think. If you haven't done it yet, click it. Yeah, if that's red, if that subscribe button is red, you're not doing something right. Click it. And as always, stay fitted, stick with it, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.